Hi, I'm Lana from AWS, and welcome to This Is My Code. Today, I'm joined by Ram from Palo Alto Networks. Welcome, Ram. Happy to be here. Thank you. Uh, we feel happy to have you here, too. So when I think about Palo Alto Networks, I start thinking about firewalls. So would you mind telling us a little bit more about the work you're doing there? Yeah. Uh, Palo Alto Networks, you know, core business is definitely firewalls. Uh, However, I am part of Palo Alto Network's Prisma public cloud service, uh, where we offer uh, complete visibility, comprehensive security, and continuous compliance monitoring for our customers' workloads in AWS Cloud. That's great. Um, I think a lot of us are concerned about when do we actually start looking at security for our code, and when you're looking at infrastructure, it becomes hairy really fast. So would you mind telling us a little bit more of best practices on how to use security checks as a part of our code pipeline for container workloads? Yeah, that's a great question. So a lot of our customers are adopting and embracing this shift left meaning they want to shift all of their security and compliance checks as far left as possible. So to meet that demand, we've released two uh, services recently. Uh, one of them is called Container Volant Scan Service. And the, the second one is uh, IAC, which is essentially infrastructure as code scanning service for your cloud formation templates and uh, Terraform templates. Got it. Um, my preferred IDE is Cloud9. I love the fact that I can actually use our CLIs and have a seamless integration into Code Pipeline or some of the other tools. And um, how do I integrate using Prisma or security checks into my workflow? Yeah, absolutely. So that's a great question. And you know, a lot of times, that's the number one question we get from developers. You know, Does this slow me down to do these security mm -hmm. checks uh, all the time, continuously? Uh, you know, throughout my build process. So what we've done is we provide plugins for you to, from Cloud9 or you know your favorite ID like Eclipse, a developer can simply send the Docker images or Docker packages that uh, he's looking at to Prisma. Got it. And how does it integrate with Code Pipeline at that point? So yeah. Does it send? Is it integrated with it directly, or or how do I interact with Prisma APIs? Yeah. Yeah, so that's a three-step process. Let me uh, break it down for you. So step number one, you know, your developer is using Cloud9 and wants to just check out and download a bunch of uh, Docker images to act as you know base packages and application packages for to build your container applications. So the developer can send those images uh, and base packages from Cloud9 into Prisma. So that's step number one, where you are sending just base OS packages uh, into Prisma. Uh, step number two is as you layer in your business application code on these you know, base images and you're building your containers, you have this full-fledged image uh, which is getting built every, you know, every day in your code pipeline, AWS code pipeline. We mm -hmm. also support Jenkins and other CI CD tools. Step number two is right from here. Every time a build is triggered, uh, you, you can upload the images to Prisma again, so that would be your image scanning. And once you are ready with that, once, you're, once you have your golden image, you are now ready to deploy it in AWS ECS or EKS or any of the orchestration frameworks you know, such as Fargate. Uh, there is a lot of deployment uh, configurations and settings that you need to worry about as a developer. So, that would be step number three, where you are sending your YAML files, uh, your you know cloud formation mm -hmm. templates, all of those into Prisma again, and we'll scan those as well. So this would be for your IAC templates. So before I actually deploy anything to production, I perform three checks. So number one I'm seeing is the base OS check, then image scan once it's built, and then checking if all of the configuration is Correct. Uh, yeah, you're absolutely right. The what makes this unique and palatable to developers, where they don't want to be slowed down by these security checks, is this can be completely automated as part of your CI/CD build process. Every time a developer makes a change and issues a pull request, and the build gets triggered, uh, there is one line of code you need to insert in your code pipeline, and that will automatically send 
the image or IAC template into Prisma and will perform checks against a number of you know, industry benchmarks, including AWS CIS benchmark, uh, NIST, HIPAA, so on and so forth, will check everything against a number of uh, security and compliance checks and either you know, pass the build, give you a green light, or fail the build and give you a list of recommendations that you need to go address. A developer addresses those and a build gets triggered again and the, the whole process is very iterative. And so as I'm building out this pipeline and thinking about compliance workloads, which are pretty important if you're looking to deploy your code in regulated industries, so what are some things that I should be watching out for as far as configuration, any parameters, manifest files? Yeah. So what uh, Prisma does is looks at the entire you know, ecosystem of where your application lives. Since we are talking about containers, you know, containers live on hosts, containers are protected by your you know, uh, security groups, there are subnet knackles, there may be a perimeter firewall. We look at security and compliance best practices for all of those. That's what you know, uh, Prisma does, provides you in addition to all of these DevOps tools, it also provides your continuous runtime security monitoring for all of your workloads, including serverless, you know, uh, IaaS, as well as containers. Okay, so on top of just integrating checks as a part of my security pipeline, I should have a way, an automated way to make sure that my production environment is also being monitored, correct? That is correct. So uh, Prisma, you know, has been offering a 100% API-based SaaS service where we leverage the kind of cross-account role uh, capability of AWS. Uh, just using that role, we have, uh, we continuously pull your configuration data, your resource data, your CloudTrail, CloudWatch events, and provide a whole slew of security services. Uh, so when I'm trying to get feedback of whether my code is secure, let's say it's a lean development team, how do I get reports on that or you know, kind of feed that back into my workflow? Yeah, uh, so there is obviously Prisma console which has, uh, which has real-time dashboards for asset management, asset inventory, you know, com continuous compliance, as well as there are you know, daily, weekly, on-demand scheduled reports that come out of Prisma. Uh, and we integrate with a number of uh, third party or cloud native security tools such as Security Hub, Guard Duty, where we feed our reports into uh, our findings into Security Hub. Awesome. So you can actually integrate that and see that as a part of your Security Hub and uh, provides you a view of the entire yeah, infrastructure uh, at that point. Yeah. Uh, uh, a lot of our customers uh, have been talking about uh, Security Hub and how they would like to see all of their findings, you know, that Prisma finds uh, in a single console that is, you know, they are very used to the AWS console. They want to see and manage their remediation all from Security Hub. And at that point, Prisma is just feeding a number of alerts as well as compliance violations into Security Hub. Thank you so much for this overview. I feel like um, as a developer, I have a much better understanding of how to build in these security and compliance checks into my workflow, such as looking at the base OS, image scans, and paying attention into configuration files. Ram, thank you so much for joining us today. And thank you for watching This Is My Code.